Hello my makeup family and welcome to this super exciting and also pretty highly requested video about my top 10 Lisa Aldridge lipsticks. I get this question under every single Lisa Aldridge video that I do. I get DMs about my favourite lipsticks, I get questions about which ones I recommend and I finally come around to doing this video. I did want to wait a while from her release late in 2020 to try out the new shades that she released. If you're not familiar, I do have all of her lipsticks and I think almost all of her lip glosses as well. I am a huge Lisa Aldridge lipstick collector. It's my favorite formula in my collection. I just think the undertones are so beautiful, unique and universally flattering. And the formula of the lipsticks is absolutely top notch. It's a semi matte, very velvety, creamy, opaque formula and it's just foolproof it's absolutely incredible so what i will say before i jump into showing you my top 10 is the first few that i'm going to show you are in no real particular order they're all favorites of mine um the further down i go in the list the more i really really like the products but it's still incredibly hard for me to say this is my top one this is my top five this is my top four it's kind of all a bit jumbled because i love them all but these are definitely the shades and the undertones that suit my medium olive skin the most and that i recommend let's jump into it okay so here we are here are my top 10 lisa aldridge lip products i'm going to start with the two glosses and i do love the glosses um that she released in late last year I just love the lipstick so much more, but these are still two of my favorite shades of the lip glosses. They're called Lip Gloss Embraces and they are £18 a pop, I think these lip glosses are. My two favorite shades from her lip glosses are Beauty, which is this very fresh springy one here, and then also Muse, which will come up later in the lipstick form for sure. I've actually used a lot of more of Muse, as you can probably see, I'm kind of scraping at the edges here. There's still so much product in here, but Muse is that very like neutral, warm brown with a hint of pink in there and the reason why i love this shade is just it's perfect for my skin coloring it looks so natural and sophisticated on my lips and with my skin coloring and these gloss embraces are just oh, they are so comfortable on the lips the other one that i have here is beauty and again beauty will come up in lipstick form but this as a gloss is so fresh Sorry, my camera doesn't want to focus, but Beauty is just so springy and fresh on the skin. And Muse is just that very sophisticated, non-flat brown. It's got liveliness to it. It's got bounce to it. It doesn't make me look dead when I wear this type of brown. And as I said, the formulation of these glosses is oof, so beautiful on the lips, so nourishing and gorgeous. Um, so I totally recommend the glosses. I think they are absolutely gorgeous. Again, the undertones are really nice. They go with each lip gloss, um, with each lipstick shade that she's created. So Muse goes with the Muse lipstick and this goes with the Beauty lipstick. It's not, um, they aren't a replacement for the lip, lip, lipsticks in any way, shape or form. But if you're more of a glossy person, then I definitely recommend the glosses. And uh, these two definitely make it into my top Next up in my top 10 is Velvet Myth and Velvet Myth is a stunning red. It's one of the three reds that will come up in this video. This is actually my sister's favorite shade from Lisa Aldridge, I'm convinced, because every time she comes over, she will always put this on. Velvet Myth is a stunning red raspberry color and it's absolutely beautiful. Any vampy look that you do that you just want that hint of raspberry beautifulness, this shade is the go to. It again, it's got those cool undertones and those sort of bluey vibes to this raspberry red, which makes it really, really stunning on a lot of skin colors and it lifts the skin coloring up. Of course, with all of these shades, I'm gonna have like face swatches as well, so you can see with makeup on and how it actually translates onto the skin. This shade is absolutely beautiful, it's sumptuous and I really like that it's got that raspberry undertone to it. So it's not a straight up red, but it does have a mix of pinky blueiness in there. Really, really beautiful colour. The next shade is Go Lightly and Go Lightly was really raved about and it sold out incredibly quickly the first time round and I'm sure the second time round that she's come out with it. 
this is such a beautiful color and when i first seen this color revealed i was like that's not going to suit my brown skin it's just not it's going to be one of those shades that look absolutely stunning on light white skin but on my own skin tone with my olive skin and my browner deeper skin color it's not going to look great and i was completely wrong i took a gamble and i brought it because i really wanted it to work and it did and it looks incredible this is one of my favorite favorite shades that's like unique that i didn't think would work for me and it's one of those shades that i feel like i see on movie stars all the time it looks so effortless and it looks so fresh on the skin but i've never been able to find one that is good for my skin coloring and the thing i like about go lightly is it's 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 like a vibrant salmon color it's not orange and it's not pink entirely it's a perfect match of pink and orange and on the lips with a winged liner or just a quick shimmer across the lid or just even a lick of mascara this can pull a look together and on the lips and cheeks combined it just makes such a fresh quick easy look and don't be fooled if you have like medium olive skin or just medium skin i think this will look beautiful it's got a real way of lifting the complexion and making you just look so fresh and flawless without looking like you're trying hard at all that's what this shade reminds me of and it's a real superstar kind of shade that you see them wear and they look so so effortless that is go lightly. This next shade is Velvet Blush and Velvet Blush is from the newer collection that she released in late 2020 and Velvet Blush is really nice for those, it's kind of a twist on a red lip and a berry lip and also a nude lip and it's all three combined. It's quite a hard colour to describe but actually when you put it on, it, again it's one of those more sophisticated everyday colours as I like to call them. It's a colour where I can wear it with a winged eyeliner and it just looks really really like you're not trying hard but you look put together and it looks amazing with a very simple looks and it looks incredible in the fall time as well and in the autumn time the colder winter months is when this color really looks incredible it is doubly gorgeous as a blush as well if you blend it out it makes a really really warm beautiful berryish blush um i just feel like this color is a combination as i said of pinks neutrals and those reds as well and it's a perfect combination of all three it's risen really quickly into my top 10 because of the uniqueness of this shade and if you have a very heavy eye look on and you apply this it doesn't look too much and equally if you have a very light look on it adds something to the look without it becoming a bright red lip and that's why i really really like velvet blush i think it's got quite a unique purpose in my collection Okay, so we're heading into top five Ram, and these are the products that really stand out from her collection. The undertones are absolutely incredible. And I'm gonna start with this one in a tub. This is actually in a tub because the um, bullet that it came in actually broke. So I just depotted it into this little tub. Um, they were really kind enough to send me another one as a replacement, but I actually gave it to one of you guys, a friend of mine who I communicate with very regularly on the platform, um, because this is completely usable and I thought, you know, I'd give that other one away so someone else can experience the absolute incredible joy that Velvet Ribbon brings. Now, Velvet Ribbon was actually one of the original shades that she brought out when she first started her lipstick line. And I kind of just looked at it like, oh, it's, you know, it's one of those bright reds. It's, it's, it's nothing that special. Like, if you think that, you're wrong. <laughs> I was wrong as well. This is an incredible red. I have never met a red that can raise a complexion in just a heartbeat like this is quite a light layer actually and quite a bad swatch let me add, like build a little bit up because i take it with my fingers now or with a brush i just i'm quite careful with the amount that i bring as soon as i swatch that out you can see how much blue is in this it's a very blue based 
red and for that reason it's incredibly brightening not only on the teeth but also the skin as well and it's just one of those reds where you look at somebody and you're like what lipstick is she wearing what is she wearing i want to know what brand she's wearing it's such a standout red it's absolutely incredible and i have seen so many artists makeup artists on on youtube and also instagram use this and this red is just truly transformative it's just so unique it is that typical like bright red but it's got that gorgeous blue undertone to it and it just lifts the complexion absolutely stunning red i love this so so much and i was so wrong about this being a basic bright red this is so much more than that it gives just so much life to the skin it's a life bringing red that's how i like to describe it i absolutely love wearing this and it brings me so much happiness every single time i put this on i forget when i don't wear it how beautiful it looks on the skin and when i do wear it i'm like man i should wear this every single day <laughs> Okay, and then we have the one that started it all, and this is Velvet Jazz. Velvet Jazz was the one single lipstick I purchased from her initial release, and I absolutely fell in love with it and just knew that I had to get more, so I absolutely did. This is the perfect vintage red. It is absolutely... I have fluff from my wet wipe on my lipstick now. Good job, Hanya. <laughs> Velvet Jazz is that perfect vintage red. I will always wear this forever with a head of curly hair, a simple brown smoky eye, and this lipstick on. And I feel absolutely so glamorous and just so vintage and so, so happy with this on. It's a deeper toned red and it does have a, a, like a deeper brown almost base to it, but it is a red at the end of the day. It's just got that rusty red feel to it and it looks incredible on the skin. And every time I see this color being used, it's always in that traditional vintage glam way. And that's how Velvet Jazz stands out in that true, true vintage red form. And she did an impeccable job with the undertone of this red. Okay, moving on to top three. Now, these are in no particular order, as I said. These are in very, very close running to each other. I'm going to start with this one here, and it's Velvet Beauty. Now, I'm not too, too much of a pink lipstick wearer. I'm more of either a straight-up nude lipstick wearer or a straight-up red lipstick wearer. The in-between for me truly is Velvet, Velvet Beauty, which is this lipstick, and Go Lightly. And it's because of their unique undertones. And once again, Velvet Beauty is a very unique shade. It is a muted pink with a slight brown undertone. And the thing with Velvet Beauty is, is you can wear this with so many eye looks, with so many different kinds of everyday makeup looks, and it will never look dull it will never look mismatched it is so easy to pair with brown smoky eyes with winged liner with a simple lick of mascara with more brighter colorful looks it goes incredibly well and i've worn this a lot actually velvet beauty is up there of one of my most used shades from lisa aldridge and it's because it looks so so fresh on the skin and if you're looking for a fresh brownie pink this is definitely it and if you have that medium olive undertone this will look incredible on your skin tone it's gonna make your facial features your eyes look really bright really lively and it's gonna make your smile look the exact same way too okay then these two are very similar but not similar as well and i always think to myself which one do i like more and i can never come to an answer and the two that i'm talking about is velvet muse and velvet fawn and they are the ultimate nudes of her collection and i absolutely adore both of them very very equally i don't actually know which one i've used more i'm thinking it's velvet fawn but i may be wrong they actually look pretty similarly used to be honest I think I might have just used Velvet Muse, which is this darker one, a little more. I'm going to start with Velvet Muse. Velvet Muse is the second lightest muted brown that she has in her collection. This is always in my work bag. Always. And I turn to it 
without a fail at least once a working week and it's because it's so fucking <laughs> incredible as a color it's got a hint of rose in there it's got a hint of brown in there a hint of slight caramel in there but it's still a non-flat brown and as a south asian woman it's incredibly hard well, it has been incredibly hard to find browns that don't make my skin look dead. That don't make me look dead when I wear them. That aren't too deep to wear that, that very like dark chocolate brown. But they're not too light where their foundation lips brown. And this is the perfect happy medium. And I think Velvet Muse is a absolute must in every single South Asian's makeup arsenal. Because it's so it's just it's just perfect for every day if you just want an everyday lipstick and you want one everyday lisa aldridge lipstick this is the color for you i am telling you it is absolutely beautiful and it's so effortless and everyday friendly and that's why i've bloody used it so much <laughs> and that's why it's sitting so high up in my top 10. And then coming in so, so close to Muse is Velvet Fawn. Um, this is just such a Bambi. I always describe this as a Bambi muted brown. And it's because it looks so innocent on the lips. I don't know how to describe this colour. It's just so innocent. It's so muted, but also with a hint and a spark of life in there. And it, it's, got, it's got a colour of Bambi in there. <laughs> That's why I call it a Bambi brown. These two together, I interchange when I'm in the office, which hasn't been for a long time. But when I do work in the office, they are my interchangeable browns. And I have them in my purse all the time. I reapply them once throughout the day because that's all I need for Lisa Aldridge's lipsticks. But these two are definitely the highest of the high of my nude lipsticks. And I don't know where I would be in my makeup collection without these two colours. They fill that void in my collection that I've always had, where I've always wanted to do that 90s look, but I never had the right lipstick undertone to do it. They fill that everyday rosy brown without being too pink and without being too flat brown. And these two, just incredible duo, absolute incredible duo. Well now, there you have it. These are my top 10 Lisa Aldridge lip products. You finally know which products I totally recommend, especially for those of you that sit around a very similar skin colouring to myself. These are the lipsticks that I find work the most well with my complexion. But what I will say is I've tried every single one of her lipsticks and they all look incredible on my skin colouring. And I think that that can be said for across the board from what I've seen from people who tag themselves in her tag and the pictures that she reposts on her Instagram and obviously the models that she uses in her videos. I think it just goes down to preference really and what you want from her collection. And it is a growing collection from her that she releases. She has some more purpley tones, ready tones, pinks and nudes. And I think she's done a fantastic job at being really inclusive in these undertones. But for myself and my preferences, these are the colours that I find that look really, really flattering on my skin, that fit into my favourites kind of colours and the way I like to wear my makeup as well. I hope you've enjoyed taking a delve into my Lisa Aldridge collection and finding out which colours are my favourite. Uh, let me know down below, do you have these colours? Are you planning on picking any of them up now that I've let you in on my top 10? Let me know. I'd love to hear your thoughts and comments down below. Thank you so, so much for watching. Stay safe, everybody, and I shall catch you in the next one.